Hey guys, welcome to our new Let's Play of Odin Sphere. Odin Sphere! This is a game that gets, um, basically no praise at all. It flew under the radar big time. It's one of my favorite games. Um, it's by a company called Vanillaware. And they hand draw all of the backgrounds. And why are you starting intro? I don't want you to start. But let's get right into it and then I'll talk a little bit more when we're doing the tutorial and all that stuff because it's kind of boring in the beginning because it shows you how to do all the stuff. But the beginning part is basically setting you up to learn the story and how the, the game kind of lays itself out. And you will see that we are, we are greeted by an adorable little kitty and a little girl. We can, we can grab our kitty. No. <laughs> now we have our kitty. Let's go sit in the in the bill comfy chair. And there we go. Oh, I saw the cute kitty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Where the entire game is told through a book. Socrates. So let's sit down and start reading our book. Kitty. <laughs> And we're going to start with Valkyrie. The soul shines proudly after falling in battle. The birds have a belief. This is the only method of earning an immortal soul. Yep. This game is awesome. I love this game so much. It's pretty. This game is basically fully voice acted, so I'm going to be quiet for this intro section. Pretty birdies! <laughs> mm. That sucks. Yup. Yeah. Griselda. <coughs> Gwendolyn. It's so quiet now. The sound of battle seems so far away. It seems I cannot follow my king into the final battle. No, don't give up. Gwendolyn, please take this. I have no use for it now. This spear has slain many foes, making a mountain of corpses. The king, father, will undoubtedly praise my actions. I'm sure he will. Do I see tears in your eyes? You're too kind, sister. Please, do not cry. Your older sister will leave the world as a great warrior. It is so dark here. Gwendolyn, I can't see you. <laughs> Griselda. I won't let you be alone for long. I shall be by your side soon enough. That's deep. Yeah, so that, uh, that kind of sucks. We have lost this battle. There are simply too many enemies. <laughs> He has made a deal with Halia to acquire such strength. What power? I will face him. Princess, you shall not. <laughs> Kill. 
Kill me now. How long do you intend to keep me pinned down? Go on. Run away. This battle is over. Any more deaths will just be a waste. Hmm. Oh, I'm glad to see you're safe. I had feared you were... At this point, I cannot go back. Please, wait. But no, don't go. What good are troops that have lost their leader? <laughs> Jesus, that was kind of... That was kind of pointless. Mm. So yeah, here's the tutorial. So, this game... Well, I never hear anybody talk about this game at all. But it's made by Vanillaware. You might have heard that they've done games like Muramasa and Dragon's Crown. Which were... Mur uh, Muramasa was awesome. And Dragon's Crown made quite a stir. Because of the boobies. Yeah, if you didn't know, because of the, uh, the gigantic boobies on the sorceress. <laughs> boobies. But this was one of their first games that they ever made. The, they made a game before this called uh, Grim Grimoire, I believe it was called. And it was basically like a puzzle game. So it wasn't anything like this. But they've always stuck to this style after this game. Um, basically a linear path in some platforming, but basically a fighter. A lot of face-to-face -face combat. Yeah, and I love this game so much because the the art is beautiful. Everything everything you see on screen was hand drawn. It's pretty awesome. Yep. Yeah. All the animations are really really fluid. I just love all the colors and the different art style. The art style for Vanilla Wear games are vastly different than anything you will ever see. And it's not that it's just, like, it was made by a Japanese company, mm -hmm. but it doesn't look Japanese at all. Like, no. you see that it's based off of uh, Norse. Norse mythology. Yeah. So it doesn't have the oriental feel to it. No. But no. it's still really beautiful. Yeah. And then, yeah, you can you can fly because you're a Valkyrie. That's pretty awesome. But let's do what they want me to do so we can get out of the tutorial. I've already played the shit out of this game, so <laughs> I I know what to do on basically all of the all of the parts. Scroll. It gets quite hard. This game. Really? Yeah. Well, I guess because of how fluid and how smooth it runs, it looks like it's easy to do, but... Uh, oh, that might be a different story. Yeah, they they, get, they send you up against some really, really tough opponents. And no other game, except for maybe um, Shadow of the Colossus, gives me the type of, like, feeling of large enemies that this game does. Who was Shadow of the Colossus created by? Um, I'm not sure. I knew um, at one point. But I'm not sure at the moment. They also did Ico and all that stuff. Yeah, I want to play those. They seem like they're easy enough for me to play with. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus is actually kind of hard. It is? Really? Yeah. That sucks. Because you have to find the, the Colossus. Uh, or the Colossi. I'm not sure what the plural of Colossus is. It seems like it would be Colossi. And then uh, you have to climb them. You have to climb them? Yep. You have to climb them and hold on to them. An attack? Or what? Yep. You have to find their weak point. Oh, that's- that's fun. Yeah. 
But yeah, no other game besides this gives me the depth of, like, this is a really large enemy that I'm about to fight. And now it's time for some more story. Gwendolyn, you've returned. And you're huge. I have an announcement, your majesty, regarding the invasion. Our troops have been lost. The foes had more reinforcements than we had anticipated. We were forced to enter a battle of attrition. The Valkyries suffered many casualties, including Griselda, our commander. I know of Griselda's fate. Griselda fought bravely for you to the very end. She entrusted me with a spear in her final moments. She was the most gallant and noble of all my warriors. That spear is a special weapon known as a cipher. It collects spirits that haunt battlefields and uses their power to smite enemies. Henceforth, you shall wield the spear as you please. We shall launch another assault on the enemy. I shall personally take part in this battle. Send the troops when you're prepared. Father! Is that all you have to say about Griselda? Words will not bring your sister back. Tis no time for sentimentality. And you are a dick. Eh, yeah, he's just an old man. Old man king. Yeah, well, still, you're a dick. I don't care if you're a god or what. You're a dick. Let's save the game. And here we have the main hub of the game. Where you can talk to people, you can buy stuff here. Hello! Like, like look at that big old guy. What the hell's that? The queen of the fairies? She was the one who summoned the dragon. Dragon? That monstrous beast. She truly is evil. That's a lot of pauses. Yeah. Yeah, the voice acting ranges from bad to really good in this game. Mm. Look, oh. look at Look at this cute little bunny. That's cute! Yeah. Yeah, there's the guy you can like buy stuff from. Well, what does the bunny do? You just talk to him. Princess Gwendolyn, I am worried about you. Please stay strong. Oh, thank you, Miras. I shall bring some tea up to your room later. If I'm alive. Hmm. Yeah, you can talk to all these guys. My dear princess. That stone on your spears, a jewel from the netherworld. Did you know that? I, I did. Traveling from this world to the netherworld. It's very dangerous, and only one man is able to do it. King Odin. If we can obtain that cauldron, and fabricate our own jewels, right none of them will have no more enemies. Yeah. Hmm. That dastardly queen. This guy right here. What? Griselda's dead because she rushed ahead of the main forces. It's certainly not because I was late to the battle. Oh, aren't you grumpy pants? Lord Brigan, you may be one of our nation's heroes, but I hear that you act as you wish because my father does nothing to stop you. And then things she thinks will be in little bubbles. They won't be in, like, speech. Uh, normal speech bubbles. I wonder what would have happened if she said that out loud. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're just gonna stay here and talk to some people uh, for a couple more minutes because I don't want to go ahead and start the next battle because it's kind of lengthy. Mm. Uh, but you can talk I'm to stuff here. Who has been allowed to sell in this castle? Is there uh, anything you need? <laughs> I don't have any money to buy anything. Well, I already have like a bunch of mulberry seeds and stuff. Ooh, buns! <laughs> oh yeah, you can buy some really cool stuff here. You have it. You have inventory. You have equipment you can put on that 
Uh, increases your HP, your armor, all that good stuff. Hmm. Oh, princess, hear me out. Mm. That spear is a magical weapon called a cipher. I knew that. Uh -huh. The dwarves fashion the crystals out of jewels and use them in the weapons. It absorbs magical elements called phosons uh -huh. and is able mm -hmm. to absorb and release them. It will surely lead you to victory. I already knew that. Mm -hmm. Then why did my sister die? Good, good, good talk. That dastardly queen of the fairies? Princess, that was close. I had heard that the Shadow Knight looked like a demon, but he seemed human to me. Hmm. Why did he let you go? I think he fell in love. Ooh, well, I know who he is, but you guys will have to find out later in more episodes of Odin's Fair. So see you guys later.